evening and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Wednesday, sorry, today is Friday, February 5th, and we are thrilled to have in the studio with us, Come Wind.
Come Win, live in the studio. Uh, sorry, I got the date wrong before, guys. I think it was that talk about time travel uh, earlier. I tried to go back in time myself uh, to Wednesday. Uh, now, the two songs you just played, those go into each other on your latest album, right? Right. right. And are you a fan of that sort of thing, just that kind of streamlined thing, making something kind of epic on record? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And uh, your new album is called Move in Place. Uh, I'd like to know who came up with that name and what it means to you. Is it a uh, way of life? Is it just a group of words that you think sound cool together? Uh, that, that one goes to, to Aaron. Um, I think we, yeah, mm -hmm. good job, Aaron. I think we, <laughs> um, we try to just like let those things happen and maybe you should talk about it. But, um, I think as like, just kind of as things came together like that, that sums up maybe the theme best of the whole, of the whole record. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we have like a, like a, it's kind of weird. We have like a title track that's split up into two on the mm -hmm. album and uh i think like those two songs kind of encompass a lot of feelings that i was like dealing with during the writing process of that whole album um and it's just about i don't know sometimes it seems like um sometimes it seems like things change like really drastically mm -hmm. and you're like trying to keep up and sometimes it's the opposite uh, and then things just like stay the same and uh you get like frustrated with things and um I don't know. It just it creates like a whole lot of different emotions that I was kind of going through just through like changes and stuff. And uh, yeah, I think that this whole album is just like each song is like working through a different thing relating to that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, very cool. Lots of life changes and everything yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, not to get all light and goofy on you all of a sudden, but is that a Star Wars uh, thermos over there? Absolutely, it is. Is it, <laughs> it designed to look like a lightsaber? Yes. We talked about Star Wars with the last band, so I think now I have to make it a point to mention Star Wars. To Bring it band. on. <laughs> yeah, that comes through. Are you guys all huge fans of, of that franchise? Yeah, raise your no. hand. I, no? I'm a huge fan. I think, I, yeah. I think we're all pretty decent fans, but Aaron is... I'm a huge fan. A huge I'm not afraid to admit it. <laughs> Tal and I just played Star Wars Battlefront. <laughs> Oh, yeah? for a couple hours before coming here. So. It, do you have that like in the van or? Uh, no, it was. Uh, we actually stayed with Tal's sister, oh, cool. and uh, her husband has that game, and nice. we didn't even know it, and we opened it up, and there was only one choice: just yeah. have to play. <laughs> what if he had had Rogue Squadron, Dark Forces, Battlefront, like a whole shelf of Star Wars games? Which one would you have chosen? Um, I probably would have chosen Battlefront too. Mm -hmm. Like the not the new one, but the one before. Okay, cool. Just so many things to do in that game. Yeah. What about Noah uh, Knights of the Old Republic? Oh my that? gosh, I have that yes. on my iPad. Yes. Ben's, ben has even played I, that game. Yeah, I think. It, <laughs> I mean, I need to. I like Star Wars just for that. I think Star Wars is cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of people would just be angry at me if I said I was a huge fan. Because mm -hmm. that I think Star Wars is cool. Because they, they would feel like you you're not worthy of being a huge Absol fan. Yeah. I, I know that I'm not. I, right. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Not. You know, I'm a huge <laughs> fan, and I think you are worthy. I think we're all worthy of being Star Wars fans. Cool. Uh, cool. You guys want to do another song? Sure. Let's do it.
Come Wind, live in the studio here with us. Uh, now, correct me if I'm wrong. Your guys' band name comes from Ezekiel 37.9. Am I making that up, the, the Bible passage? Is that a yes, no, maybe so? Okay, good. How's the word I got wrong? Um, uh, is there something about that passage that rings true for you or resonates with you above, um, like, I guess, other Bible verses? Like, was it picked for a specific reason, or you just like the way, once again, the word sounded? Well, I can talk about that for sure. Um, yeah. Uh, that passage is all about like dead things coming to life, mm-hmm. and I think whenever, um, you know, like no band name ever sounds good when you're trying to come <laughs> up with it. I yeah. I am a firm believer in that, and I think when we were trying to figure out like what to call this back when we started, mm-hmm. um, we kind of wanted the name for us to be like, you know, to be like a motto or a mantra, mm-hmm. like always a reminder of what what matters most to us, and and. Like, no matter where we go or what we do, we want this band to be something, like, that brings life into people. Mm-hmm. We want, like, we, we want it to be something that, you know, that that changes you. It's changed us, and um, that passage kind of speaks to all that. Mm-hmm. So For sure. With the wind coming and also the resurrection of the dead. And right, that. right, absolutely. And when you guys write your songs, uh, I guess specifically lyrics, um, do you try and keep it as universal as possible, both with the secular and a non-secular audience? Like something, you know, it might be about something from the Bible, or, but it could also be about a relationship or a struggle you're going through. Like, is that something that's important to you? Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. Uh, I think, like, labeling stuff is, like, really hard. Mm-hmm. Um, but, like, we're all Christian guys. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, there's there's a lot that goes on in each of our lives. For you sure. Know what I mean? So, so, like a lot of the a lot of the new album deals with like some stuff like super like clearly related mm-hmm. to that. It's like really obvious, but a lot of the stuff is just you know things that um, things that I go through, things that like are on my, my heart and stuff, and you know songs about my relationship with my wife mm-hmm. and my relationship with these guys. You know what I mean? Um, so it's 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 definitely like it's it's hard for me to write songs about things I don't, like, really feel. Oh, no, of course, You yeah. know what I mean? So a lot of it just deals with stuff that I go through on a day-to-day basis. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How long have all you guys known each other? Yeah, we've known each other the longest. Yeah, for sure. It's like two weeks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, um. yeah. I met Ben, like, yesterday. <laughs> taught him all these drum parts. Yeah. Uh, Did you grow up together uh, or just met in college? Or? I think college, yeah. Yeah, we've probably known each other for seven, seven years maybe or yeah, so, and like I think everyone else has come in along the way um, just to, like friend of a friend situation yeah. more or less like through playing music we've met one another so yeah, yep. um, yeah. also too something it seems uh at, at least uh over there john uh you like to switch instruments a bit you know is that is that something that's always been a thing in the band or did you introduce that or um i think that's always been a thing mm-hmm. um i think it was really cool it's really natural natural for me to just come in mm-hmm. because this is like this is a good role for me. Yeah. I'm not an awesome guitar player. I'm not an awesome drummer, but I can do both. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's so, a great way to look at it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like, it's, wow. So it's, it's a cool role for me, and I love it. You know, yeah. if I was just a guitar player, I think I'd be a little bit more frustrated with competing with, you mm-hmm. know, all these crazy players out there. Well, it's cool to start off on the drums, you know, get like yeah, that, yeah. the pummeling thing going yeah. and then move right yeah. uh, into guitar. Uh, yeah, let's hear another song from you guys. Thanks.
Drum Wind live in the studio. Uh, now that song was called Clarity, so I have to ask, uh, is it at all a tribute to the Jimmy World album of the same name? <laughs> it is not. <laughs> uh, are you guys Jimmy World fans? You all laugh. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. I, I am like Jimmy too. World. Good. I like that album very much. Yeah, yeah. I like I like Jimmy Eat World stuff a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've actually been asked that question a couple times. Yeah, and I like I didn't even think about it when we titled the song or anything. Yeah, but there's also a John Mayer song called Clarity, and no disrespect to John Mayer, but uh, I think getting asked the Jimmy Eat World comparison is, is better. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, and you guys have watch. He's gonna play a session here tomorrow. <laughs> fired. Um, John. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, but uh, and I also asked too because. I definitely detect like a Jimmy Eat World kind of momentum in a good way because I really like that that band yeah. a lot. Um, but that was not at all a nope. thing when you were writing that. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe next time call your next album uh, "Sag Prevails" or something. Like that. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah. Futures. Yeah. yeah, and just do it. Um, well, so what's next for you guys? As far I mean, you're a pretty young band, um, and this seems like a very defining album for you, right? Um, so what's yeah, what's in your in your futures? Whoever just said that. Futures. Futures. Jimmy World um, tying in again. Yeah. Um uh we uh we want to hit the road. Mm-hmm. Um that's that's the plan for this year and um we haven't like really I mean we did like a little weekend trip to get up here and mm-hmm. stuff and we've done little tiny things like that. Um but uh this year we wanna we wanna get back on the road to hit some places we haven't hit in a long time. So nice. I think we're we're just excited, like we've been places our first full length and um you know, I know that we're like happy with what we've done before, but mm-hmm. this record kind of stands out to us as definitely. You know, it's what we're most proud of, and so we're just excited. Yeah, we're excited to share it with whom? Excuse me, whomever. So <laughs> you're excused. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, is there a specific region you guys would really love to go to in the U.S. that you haven't been to before, or have only been to maybe once or twice? I'd love to go to California. Yeah. Yep. Northern California, or Southern California. I've never been to either. So. Anyway. <laughs> either one is great for me. Awesome. Well, we hope you guys get there. Uh, let's go into the last song, shall we? All I could find was you All I 
You're all I could ever want You're all I could need You are my eyes You're all I could ever want You're all I could need You are my eyes You're all Come Wind live in the studio. We want to thank you guys so much for performing today. Uh, thanks to the awesome people in the studio and sound engineers. Thanks to the lighting crew and the camera crew for designing the look. And thanks to all you out there for watching. Uh, you can support the band by downloading the session from our website or streaming it online. Uh, send a shout out via social media to us or the band if you just want to connect. And from all of us here in the Audio Tree Studios, once again, thank you for watching. Goodbye. Have a great weekend.